I'm Annie with Byannie.com and Patterns by Annie. In our last video, we introduced our pattern ruler wrap, which makes a handy ruler and mat carrier and organizer. If you missed it, click on the link in the description below to learn more about this awesome project. In this video, we'll go over the supplies you'll need to make your very own ruler organizer and carrier. The ruler wrap pattern includes instructions for two sizes of organizer, each of which features lots of quilted and mesh pockets sized to hold a variety of rulers, a cutting mat, rotary cutters, and more. On the back cover of the pattern, you'll find a complete supply list, which lists all the materials needed to make either a small or a large ruler wrap. The supply list recommends that you use three fabrics for the ruler wrap, a main fabric for the body of the wrap, a lining fabric for the inside of the wrap, and a coordinating fabric for straps, handles, and bindings. We recommend using a non-directional busy fabric for the main fabric on the wrap. You'll find additional tips on choosing fabrics in our add-on video tutorial for this project. We suggest that you watch that entire video series before purchasing the supplies for your ruler wrap. I especially like to use quilting cottons because of the wide range of colors and designs that are available and because they don't make the bag too heavy or bulky. Using Biani Soft and Stable Foam Stabilizer allows you to use any fabric, even lightweight fabric such as quilting cottons, for your ruler wrap. It will give great stability to your bag as well as good padding for your precious rulers. We recommend that you purchase a two yard piece of soft and stable for either the small or the large wrap. Instructions are included in the pattern and in the add-on video for piecing the soft and stable to make the 76 inch piece needed for the large wrap. On the inside of the ruler wrap, a variety of zippered pockets in two sizes store rulers in many sizes and shapes. We love using Biani's lightweight mesh for these pockets as the mesh gives great visibility, a little bit of stretch, and adds no bulk when sewing. One half yard package of mesh is enough to make all the pockets on the small wrap. You'll need about three quarter yard to make the large wrap. If your local quilt shop carries Biani's lightweight mesh on the roll, they can cut that amount for you. Otherwise, you'll want to order two packages. We've got lots of patterns that use mesh, so no worries, you'll find lots of uses for any leftovers. Biani's lightweight mesh comes in 14 fun colors, so audition the colors to pick something that you'll love. This fun batik fabric from Island Batik had a variety of colors, so we had lots of options for mesh. We considered lipstick, dandelion, parrot blue, turquoise, and white. In the end, we liked the way the turquoise contrasted with the raspberry bindings, so we picked a turquoise mesh and zippers. But any of the other options would have been fun too. The pattern gives complete instructions for making both short and tall zippered pockets and for adding divisions and extra slides to safely store rulers of different sizes. We recommend that you use handbag zippers for the ruler wrap. Biani's zippers by the yard are perfect for this project. Zippers by the yard include four yards of zipper chain and 16 color coordinated pulls, so you can make zippers of any length with one or more zipper slides. They come in 32 fun colors. Black and white may also be purchased with multicolored pulls, which are extra fun. One package of zippers by the yard is just enough to make all the zippered pockets in the small ruler wrap if made according to the pattern instructions. If you decide to add more short pockets, you will need more zippers. For the larger ruler wrap, which has more pockets, you'll need one package of zippers by the yard plus two more 30 inch zippers if you make it as directed in the pattern. Each ruler wrap closes with one inch straps on each side and features a handle as well as an adjustable detachable carrying strap with a comfy shoulder pad. You'll need a set of one inch hardware for the straps. Hardware sets include four rectangle rings, two swivel hooks, and three wide mouth sliders and are available in antique brass or nickel. To make handles and straps that perfectly complement your project yet have strength and durability, you'll pull one inch strapping into fabric tubes. We prefer PolyPro strapping, which is available at Biani.com in white or black. 
Because it's covered by fabric, you don't really notice the strapping at all. I prefer to use white if I'm using lighter colors for my straps and handles and black for darker colors. Finally, you'll need some thread to assemble your ruler wrap. We like using SoFine 50, a 50 weight polyester thread from Superior Threads. Most of the stitching is done on the coordinating fabric, so you'll definitely want a thread that blends well with that fabric. It's also nice to have a thread that blends with the main fabric so that when you attach the pockets, the stitching is less visible on the main fabric side. When sewing with Soft and Stable and with SoFine 50, I prefer to use top stitch needles in a size 9014. Those are made by Superior Threads and are also available at buyanny.com. At the top of each ruler wrap is a rod pocket into which you may insert a dowel or rod for hanging the organizer from a door or on the wall. I got this rod at the local home improvement store. It telescopes and the length can be adjusted to perfectly fit the space. It also has ends that can be attached to the wall. Alternatively, a one inch wooden dowel or metal rod cut to about 30 inches would work well for hanging the organizer. The dowel or rod can also rest on over the door hooks and hang on the door. Find hooks like these at your local home goods store. Over the door hooks are the easiest way to hang the ruler wrap. If you choose to hang it on the wall or in the closet, be sure to use the appropriate type of hangers to accommodate the weight when full. We've found that when the large wrap is full with rulers and a mat, it weighs about 10 pounds. You are going to love having this handy organizer to store and carry your rulers, mat, rotary cutters, and more. Hang it on the door or wall for easy access to everything when you're working at home. Then wrap it up to safely carry everything to class. We can't wait to see what you make, so be sure to share pictures of your finished projects with us. Find us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram using at Patterns by Annie. And if you liked this video, please click on the like button below to give us some feedback. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button too, so you're sure to know when we post new videos. Thanks again for watching and happy stitching. Thank you.